Hey guys, this is Karan. I live in uh, Saudi Arabia. I study in 9th grade in Yambo International School. Today, we are, the topic that we are going to discuss is kinetic energy. Okay, so before uh, me starting with kinetic energy, let me just review of what we have learned in past. Okay, so we start off with kinetic energy and then be processed to what we have learned, okay? Ki the kinetic energy is equal to half times mass times velocity squared, okay? This is the formula of uh, kinetic energy and as you guys can see I abbreviated kinetic energy as KE we can abbreviate mass as M velocity as V square okay half times M times V square is kinetic energy okay and this is probably gonna blow your mind or shock you that the units of kinetic energy is joules as you might have guessed it so does the work right now what is the formula of work well the formula of work like I told you there's two formulas the work equals force times distance or work is equal to F cosine of theta times distance okay and the units are just joules as well okay now let me go ahead and go back one more um, section which where I was talking about Newton's three laws of motion and the only uh, law that has equation into it is Newton's second law of motion. What it says is the force is equal to mass times acceleration okay so let me give you a preview of next lesson that we are going to talk is potential energy. Potential energy is energy that is stored into an object when it's at rest. So if I were to have an apple in my hand, if there were an apple in my hand and it's not moving, though it can move if I let it drop, but the energy in moving is called kinetic energy. The potential energy of an apple would transform into kinetic energy okay so the kinetic energy we can put as the energy which is in motion is called kinetic energy that is actually the definition of it so let me go ahead and give you guys um, an example of kinetic energy okay if we were to have a bag over here okay bag luggage okay and we put force into it and the speed of it is zero meter per second okay the speed of the bag is zero meter per second now if you were to move it over here the bag would land up over here okay and the force is um, still applied as it's moving okay but you see the velocity over here is zero meter per second okay but the velocity over here is not zero meter per second so we can say that it is not equal to zero meter per second okay or we can say or we can say that vi because it's the initial distance okay this one over here is initial distance this is initial and this one over here is final okay so vi is always 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 less than vf 
or VF is greater than VI, it's the same idea. Okay? So, let me talk to uh, you guys about, about a theorem of work. Okay? Work theorem. Well, I know this is not mathematics that we have theorem even in geometry and things like that. But let me erase this, what have we learned? I don't want to erase the kinetic energy because I think you might be writing in your notes. Okay? The theorem of work and theorem of work and kinetic energy. Okay, theorem, work, and kinetic energy. Okay, so what does the theorem say? Well, the theorem says the net work, the final work is equal to change in Ke. Well, what does delta mean here? Well, delta, if you have a delta, it means change in something, okay? When when there is change in something, there is delta in something. So we can write this as W net is equal to K E F minus K E I. All it means is kinetic final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy. Okay? So now that we have talked a lot about this kind of equations. Let's go ahead and solve some examples. Okay. And I hope that I'm going to make this just one video because kinetic energy is pretty easy to understand. And after all that theorems and other things that I've given you should be even easier. So the first question goes like this. A 4 kg bowling ball. Okay. I'm just going to draw while I'm reading the question. A 4 kg bowling ball is thrown at a speed of 10 meters per second. Okay, what is the kinetic energy of the bowling ball? Well, let's go back to the equation. The equation was, I'm just going to abbreviate it. Ke is equal to half. Velocity is 10 replace. Okay, let me just erase the units here because it doesn't matter if you write the units or not. You know what? I'm going to write the units. The mass is here is 4 kg times half equal to ke. So what's half times 4 times 10 uh, squared? Well, it turns out that uh, it is 200 joules because the units are in joules. Okay, so it's basically um, doing 10 square, which is 100. Okay, 100 divided by 2 is 50, and 50 times 4 is 200. So it's 200 joules. Okay, let's proceed to the next question. This was was pretty simple. Well, it's simple because I taught you guys right now, okay, and it should always, always, always be simple. Now the question, now the question says a car is moving at 100 meter per second and has mass of 1.5 times 10 raised to 3 kg. If a bike has a mass of 
20 kg, how fast the bike should move to travel as the same kinetic energy of car. Well, how do you solve this problem? First and first thing I should recommend you from now on that we are starting uh, lots of calculations in physics is always 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 write the information given in the quotient okay so let's write the information given in the quotient well the first thing that is given is a car okay this is weird car but it's a car okay so it's moving at 100 meter per second okay this thing has mass of 1.53 kg okay and here's the bike I'm not a good drawer but okay this is a bike okay let's say this was a bike and all it gives is this thing has uh, 20 kg um, of mass how fast should it move okay we don't know the speed to have the same kinetic energy well the key here is same kinetic energy okay so the kinetic energy of this would be easy to find because k e equals half m which is 1.5 times 10 raised to 3 kg times 100 squared okay you would find that the ke kinetic energy would equal to 1506.42 joules okay now this kinetic energy is equal to this kinetic energy because the question said same kinetic energy and you know what I'll bold the question on the screen so you guys can uh, understand the key concept on where should you look when the question is arrived like that okay now I'm just gonna erase KE here because I want the room okay is equal to this is the kinetic energy of this cycle or bike okay and is equal to two half times mass is 20 kg times x square because x is the variable we don't know now this is the easy calculation you can do two, 20 divided by 2 is 10 okay so 10 is here 10 so this would be 1506.42 is equal to 10 kg times x square okay now this look the same x square okay now you divide both sides by 10 and the answer you would get is um, 1 radical you know what hold on let me just after you solve the whole equation for the x value you get when you divide these things okay let me just go straight forward okay since we are running out of time here so if you just divide uh, both sides by 10 you would get some number and that some number some number is equal to x squared okay so that's not the speed okay that's the speed which is squared version okay so you square root that speed and when you square root the speed you get the velocity sh uh, should equal to 12.27 meter per second so the bike should travel at a um, velocity of 12.27 meter per second so it could be uh, it could have the same uh, kinetic energy as the car over here because you just replace the kinetic energy that we found of the car two in this side and then just write the equation which is and then you arrive at the answer so if you guys like my video please go ahead and subscribe and let me know if you like the video click the like button so i can upload more videos of physics thank you for watching